He said at the start, this is my fault, I'm sorry. He responded to uh, claims that were made with measures they were going to take in the business, which was great, but there was nothing in there about how he was going to develop and how he was going to change, despite the fact that he said it was his fault. Hi all, welcome to our new series, Question of the Week. Each week, a member of the Digital Glue team is going to be answering a question that is widely debated. This week, I'm going to be kicking off by answering the question, how should a business respond to a crisis? Now, we've all probably seen BrewDog in the news recently. It all started when Employees, both current and former employees of BrewDog, published an open letter on Twitter on the 10th of June criticising BrewDog's culture and work environment. And there were really some sort of quite shocking revelations in there. Now, that is the perfect example of a crisis that we've got there for a business. So I'm going to talk through some of the principles for how a business should respond to something like that. And I'll be referring back to BrewDog and how they've handled it throughout. So let's start with what not to do in a crisis. What you absolutely shouldn't do is bury your head in the sand and pretend that it's not happening or that it hasn't happened. That will only make things worse. People will make up their own story, their own version of events, and ultimately it's going to look like you just don't care. You don't care about your customers and you don't care about your team. So don't ignore the fact that it's happening. I'm going to talk through three really key principles that I think are really important in responding to a crisis. First of all, acknowledge. So opposite of burying your head in the sand, acknowledge the fact that it's happening. Then accept. So there's nothing you can do about it. It's happening. You've got to now accept responsibility. So at this stage, you might want to work with the legal team, obviously depending on the scale of the crisis, to make sure that you're getting any wording right for a statement that you're going to put out. Next stage is apologise, and it needs to be a genuine apology. There are very few things which can diffuse situations like a genuine apology. It shows that you care and that you want to fix the issue. So saying sorry goes a long way. Now, BrewDog did issue an apology on the same day, um, or I believe the day after this open letter was published. So they did go through those three points. They acknowledged it was happening, accepted some responsibility, and James Watt, CEO, who was widely criticised in the open letter, apologised. And they did it quickly. And that's another really important thing. You've got to communicate quickly. You've got to acknowledge and accept and apologise, I would say, within a 24-hour time frame. That doesn't mean it needs to be your full communication. And you'll see that James Watt, if you've been following the story, actually published a longer statement, I believe on the 18th of June, which went into more detail about what they were going to do to respond to the open letter and the issues that were raised in that. So he took his time to actually think properly about how he wanted to respond, yet he didn't wait just to do that. He put out a short statement first of all to apologise and to say they would be doing something about the situation. Now I'm not going to get into his response and dissect the content of that, I think that might be a completely other topic for another day. Something else that's really important in your response to a crisis is how you communicate um, and the style of your communication. So think about where your customers are, um, where you need to communicate internally, because that's really important in a crisis as well. Um, it might be you need to publish it on your website, social media. It might be that you need to call people personally. It really depends on the type of crisis and the scale, but that's something that you really need to consider. Um, and also think about 
the way you communicate and being open and honest that's really important being completely transparent now I'll be open on this right now. There were a lot of parts of James Watt's statement that he published on the 18th that I didn't like, that I didn't think accurately responded to the crisis. But what I did like was at the start of that statement, he was very open and honest. He was transparent. He said, this is my fault. And he actually included the link to the open letter that had been published by the former and current employees. So he wasn't hiding that, he was making it available for people to view. Parts that I didn't like of his statement, and I said I wouldn't get into dissecting the content, but I guess I am a little bit. He said at the start, this is my fault, I'm sorry. He responded to uh, claims that were made with measures they were going to take in the business, which was great, but there was nothing in there about how he was going to develop and how he was going to change despite the fact that he said it was his fault. So that's where I think he didn't quite directly respond to the crisis. And there's some of those, you know, points that have been raised in the open letter. So that's something that's really important. You want to make sure that you are responding directly to the crisis itself. Now, there are plenty of other things I could talk about um, in response to this, about how you then prepare for any future crisis. Hopefully you won't have to deal with that, but it's always good to have a plan. Um, how you prepare for any negative backlash after you've released statements. Um, I think you only need to look at the comments on James Watts' uh, post on LinkedIn to see they're going to have a, a job to do there to be responding to a lot of the points that have been raised in the comment section um, and you know how do you prevent these things from happening in the first place so if anyone does want to find out more about that then I am happy to have a conversation just drop a note in the comments and send me a message and I'm happy to have a chat about it and advise this has been a question of the week I'm Greta and I will be handing you over to another Digital Glue team member next week who will be answering another widely debated question. Thank you very much.